Hey everybody, welcome back. We're gonna be doing another Code Veronica walkthrough today. And I just wanna see where we're at. Okay. So I can put you away. Oops. Still, I'm going to have to get used to the controls. Now let's go. Kitty just jumped on me. They're playing. you are in a special playground I have prepared just for you. Please try and keep me amused and do not disappoint me by dying too soon. I so want to enjoy this. <laughs> Well, he ain't gonna enjoy it because I'm a winner. Get out of my water. Sorry guys, I got a kitty who's trying to drink out of my glass of water. That's right, bitch. Sixty-seven percent. God damn. Oh, there's one thing that I'm really bad with Resident Evil games is I get very, very, very like very frugal, very like stingy. Very, very, very stingy with resources, especially with the older games. That felt good. Don't worry, Claire. Your knight in shining armor is here. You wish. But thanks for the help. See? This is why you need me. I got your back. Whatever. Here. Take these. Machine guns? For me? You know the deal. In exchange for your Lugers. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> this thing is too cool. Yes! Now this is my kind of weapon. All right! Huh? <laughs> hey, this thing's empty. You cheated me. Up there, plenty of ammo, just for you. Way up there? Give me a boost and I'll get it for you. All right, all right. Ow! My back! You're heavier than you look! Hurry up! Ha! 
happy now? What? Now that your knight has made his appearance, he can join you in your descent into death. Okay, let's do it! Wait here, Claire. Time to test out my new toy. <laughs> oh. I really hope our remake that it kind of toned him down a little bit. Ammo, so clear. That lock pick, okay. So there's at least two locks that I gotta go back to. I always forget that one, but it's just so much backtracking. It was dirty work, but this area is now clean. See? You can depend on me. You see? This thing is a lot more reliable than any person. Than people? Steve. What were you doing here? Who brought you here and where is your family? Shut up! I don't want to talk about it! Steve... Never mind. Let's get going! Oh, no, it's okay. I'll catch up to you. Claire, are you okay? Steve, behind you! No! What's wrong, Steve? Shoot him! Wait! I... I can't! No! Steve! No!
Steve. Father. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Dad I used to work for Umbrella I Tried to steal information Intending to sell it off to the highest bidder He was caught Mom was killed And we were sent here Oh, Steve He was a fool to do something so reckless so stupid. It's okay now. Just rest. Too bad about that, Steve. Sorry. No, it's okay. You can just sit right in the middle of the fucking floor. Oh, yeah. Then again, he just killed his dad, so maybe I'll cut him some slack. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, give me some ammo. Ah, uh, damn it to hell. Hey there, buddy. Hmm. Nearest safe room. Quits. Quit doing that to the TV. Basement floor. No safe room. Second floor is. I'm just better off getting off here. Back for this. Oh, my God, Steve. Yeah, I'm still fine. What am I at now? Fifty percent? God damn it. All right, so I'm 
No, that's true. If I go and give up the hemostatic medication right now, then I'm not going to be able to use the lighter when I'm at the residence. Alright, sorry guy, you're gonna have to just bleed out a little bit longer. Oh, hey there, kitty. I'll give that guy the hemostatic when I go and... There. I think there's two up here. There's gonna be one to my left and there's gonna be one on that top stair. Too close! Holy shit! Where is he? Okay, he's coming down. Yes, I will lure him down to his doom. Alright. Let's go time. We're doing pretty good. I I think that we can use the crossbow. <laughs> Fucking just puke on me, you nasty motherfucker. Guns away. Hemostatic away. Go put the Lugers on the wall. And now, I'm gonna go back and get the shit for that, uh... Oh, what do you call it? I'm gonna go get that emblem so I can get that other key card for the training facility. The damn be dang. Trying to cut me off. Shit. 
Steve and his daddy are gone. Take you, and then I guess I'll save because sometimes you can just never be too sure, especially with this game. You never know, it's very easy to get done locked. But I think for the most part. We should be all right. I'm not too worried about it. Yep, you go out here. Come past the dogs again. Get past this annoying fucker. Great, now I'm in caution. It's exactly what I want. And then I think we can, okay. And what the hell does the other biohazard card go to? Just how the hell do I just run in the fire? Okay. I know. Okay, I think I can go unlock that. I can score the ink ribbon.
unlock the gate so we have a shortcut, thank God, because we're going to be backtracking for quite a while, guys. We are going to be doing lots of odds and ends. in that fucking room for me? Oh, I guess let's go find out. <laughs> oh, so now I gotta waste a bunch of herbs. See, I hate you guys. Nothing in here for me. I can't even move those. So note to self, don't ever go in that fucking room. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely love the backtracking in this game. It's just, it's, it's a longer game. And I can get why people are all like, oh. but it's a damn good game. I had to waste two herbs. Oh, there it is. Blends right in. 
One, one, two, six. Okay. Get. Yeah, he's been dead. He is deader than dead. Yes. Give me the acid rounds. I love me the acid rounds. Drop some acid. Drop some acid on the zombies. Zombies dropping acid. Now that's a trip. about this game is like these zombies like do actually respawn like 
and they come in droves like like we're gonna go to the private residence here and there's gonna be a fucking bandit snatcher and then there's gonna be like a fucking gang of zombies and go to the other door. Christ. Okay. Where does that key... Oh, okay. I know where this key... what we need to do. Grab that. Okay, I did. If I'm not mistaken, there's gonna be one zombie in here. It's gonna be hiding in that back corner right in front of that door I'm gonna need to get to. We gotta do the Asher family puzzle. And I believe the solution is in this memo. Message to the new family master. Sir Alfred, congratulations on your succession as master of the Ashford family. I hereby present you with an earthware vase according to the Ashford family tradition. As you know, this tradition first began when a butler presented a golden teacup as a commemorative to Veronica. As founder of the Ashford family, her intelligence and beauty are legendary. The second and third masters, Stanley and son Thomas, were also presented with similar teacups. It was their hope to achieve glory as Veronica did before them. So, vase, teacups. So, his third master, third master Stanley, and his son Thomas. Okay. The physician of family master then shifted from Sir Thomas to his twin brother, Sir Arthur. It went from Sir Edward, then that was when the, uh, that was when the Ashford family enjoyed its golden age. It's also, it was also Sir Edward's achievement that established the large chemical enterprise umbrella. However, when Sir Edward passed away, your father succeeded the position. The glorious Ashford family gradually began to sink I sincerely hope the Ashford family regains its glory with your guidance, just as this face continues to shine internally. Okay. Uh, 
earthware vase. Teacup. Twins. Thomas. Thomas and his twin brother, Sir Arthur. Edward. Okay. I rule. And then inside, so we're past that, and then private residence. Gonna get a little bit ahead of the game here. I just want to make sure I don't give my lighter away because I don't really feel like going against all the goddamn bats. So now we have fucking Mission Impossible. Operation get to the private residence without fucking dying. So, with that being said, we're going to save. I'm kind of mixed about if I want to kill that bandit snatcher or not. like to waste that guy.
Yeah, I don't like those guys. They just... Oh shit, I need to get my lighter up. Uh, I think this is probably like the coolest part of the game though. The private residence. And like the suspended doll. It's pretty fucking awesome. And the OST on it is just fucking killer. That would be another place that I would love to explore. I know that other people have said the same thing. I mean, it's a big house. So, there's a lot more to explore. Keep focused, brother. Our enemy is only a little girl. Oh, why is this taking so long? My apologies, Alexia, but I have been doing my best. The revival of the Ashford family depends on your success, brother. I am aware of that, Alexia. I will revive the family name myself and make you the master of the glorious Ashford family. Do not worry, brother. I will handle them both myself. Who is there? Is someone at the corridor? What is it, Alexia? N nothing. I believe I must have been imagining things. Let us go, brother. It's a weird relationship. Calling each other brother and sister. <laughs> All right. 
grab the handgun ammo, of course. We gotta be stocking up. Is there any more like herbs over here? What's up with these creepy fucking dolls? So, oh, I don't need to go in that room. I need to go in this room. Yes, I will take the music plate. And I will take the key. Ooh, that was creepy. Alright. Get the lighter out. Now we're going to go to the training facility. Nope, we're going to go back to the prison. The detention center. Concentration camp. Six one and a half dozen or the other. Just got to make sure this bandit snatcher. Fuck you. Lockpick. Then I'm gonna grab all this shit in here, bring it back to the box. I just got what hand on your right? Okay. Nothing here. Nothing here. Something here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Um, actually, I want to do something really quick, too. Gonna need that. Gonna put that back. And I'm gonna use that on the... What do you call it? Um, those bandit snatchers in the room are about ready to go in. But we're still doing pretty good. Um, I'm pretty happy with what our inventory is and what resources we have. Um, if anybody ever is struggling with Code Veronica, I encourage you to watch my playthrough. I know it can help some who might have a hard time with this game. Human unit never killed, that's what hunk stands for. Alright, that's taken care of. Now we can go to the prison. Drop off the hemostatic medication to Rodrigo. And then we're gonna go to the torture chamber. And then we're gonna be, I think, basically done with Rockford. Or Rockfort. Rockford. Rockfort Island. the second raccoon shitty or is that Sheena Island I don't know I think that's like from Resident Evil Zero I think Resident Evil Zero is another hard one I think I'd say Code Veronica and Resident Evil Zero are probably the two hardest ones Like I said, I don't hate those games. I fucking love them. I think Resident Evil Zero does get a lot of hate too. I'd say Code Veronica and Zero 
definitely get the most hate because of like the item box and stuff. It, like I can get that, you know, and that can be kind of frustrating and shit, but it's like, it just leave all your items in like the main hall, you know, or just places that you're going to pass by more than any other in the game. You know, it's just, it, it's all about strategy. That's, that's all it is with, the, with these games. It's all about strategy. have like a good strategy you know it's not gonna like hold your hand for you it's the, the game's designed against you and if you can just kind of pause for a second and break down and process everything that you need to do what are you doing here Hemostatic medicine. How kind of you. Thanks. Here, let me help you with that. Thanks, but I can take care of myself. Just go. Keep it. It was a gift from my brother, but... Thanks. Here, let me give you this in return. You might need it later on. Now go. Don't worry about me. What are you still hanging around for? Get out of here. Well, you're welcome. <sighs> Now to go put the emblem in. Not without my trusty MR93R or SR93R, what is it called? M93R, an Italian handgun which uses 9 millimeters. Oh, so they were going for the Italian route. Okay. Just give me one second. Oh, it's dark. better get some more light in here nope nope I'm gonna cut around these zombie dogs Go back to sleep. Nope, nope. Son of a god, dang it. Alright, so 
So, the indentation. Judging by the music, we are clear. Really? Always gotta be that one asshole. Yes, I will take that herb. <laughs> And we can get our what do you call it? All right, do I have enough for this loot? So Put the guns back. Put this away. shells there's a first aid spray Save. I don't think that would be a good idea. We are not going to use these BOW gas rounds until we reach the tyrant in the plane. And the first aid spray. It's gonna go over there. Okay. My fucking crossbow, my trusty crossbow. Ingram. Okay, that's what we forgot. Alright, we are finally progressing. We are finally progressing in this game. And then after this is done, we still gotta do two more backtrack stops. There might be more when they come to mind or when we get to that point, but I know for sure we gotta go get the uh, acid rounds in the basement floor. And then we gotta go to that desk. First aid spray. I just want the hand on you.
Thank you. I know for a fact there's like some grenade realm somewhere. For a fact, I'm not imagining it. So it's probably gonna be what? Let's hope. This looks like a... Like a torture chamber slash crematory. That looks painful as fuck. I really thought that you got like fucking some grenade shells. fucking crazy but I swear I thought you really really did get
He's got an eye. God damn it. Get the fuck away from me. Man, I should have dropped your ass last with that hemostatic medicine. So, this is a fucking torture chamber. And as you can see, this is where that sick fucker takes a seat, has a glass of wine, and watches for his own enjoyment. Wonder what's behind the curtain? What the fuck? So torture devices. What a bloody mess. are fucking annoying. So we have the musical piece. All that leaves us with is backtracking.
Bye, doggies. All right. To the training facility. Try a bitch. Hi, kitty. Every time I stream, my boy likes to come out and sleep right by my feet. Every time I stream, I think he waits until I'm done with playing the game so he can have my chair. Thought it because he loved me, but nope. He wants my chair. to do and then we are going to progress again. Mm. Yeah sure what the hell. I'll grab it. I guess I'm going to the first floor either way, but I just think I've always felt this place faster, but maybe I'm wrong. We are officially again progressing. We are done with backtracking. We are done with it. I 
now our special guest makes a cameo. Greetings. You must be the lovely Claire Redfield. Who are you? Let's just say that I'm a ghost coming back to haunt your dear brother. Whisker? It seems there's not much explaining to do, is there? I was the one who attacked this island. Who'd have thought you'd be hanging about? <laughs> All the better for me. Now that the cat dragged in this nice surprise, your ever so caring brother will definitely show up. I must thank you for being such good bait. I don't know what went on between you two, but you have them all wrong. My brother is not the kind of person you think he is. I despise Chris. Uh, what are you gonna do to him? You may be of some further use to me. I'm going to let you live a little longer. Roadhouse. Yeah, that was a swift kick. Like, come on, they have to remake this game. It's got fucking Wesker in it. Why would they skip over? It makes no sense to skip over Code Veronica for Resident Evil 5 because that's the conclusion of Wesker, who is arguably, without a doubt, the most iconic villain of the series. You know? just would not make sense to skip over it. So you're gonna conclude Wesker's chapter and then backtrack to Code Veronica. Was Wesker being a villain again? Come on. Do it right. Just do it right, Capcom. We just ask you to make it right. Get ready for fucking zombie mania. Fuck you. Thank <laughs> you. 
God, I hope these guys don't respawn. Fuck. God damn it, I killed you sons of bitches. Take care of the zombie mania. is fucking annoying. I'm gonna hear it so many more times in the goddamn game. happen to have the key to detach the wings. Ha 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 ha. that. Come on, put your back into it. Now that's the third part that we need. down the ladder and then we're going to be done with Rockport. We are going to be moving forward. Where did I go? Oh, yeah, I go here. <laughs> Larry. 
Redfield. Hold it right there. We meet each other at last. A pity I must say goodbye so soon. I am Alexia Ashford. For the pride of the Ashford family, I will kill you. Wait! What's going on? After her! Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. This must be... What? No! Wait a second. What just happened? So there never was an Alexia after all. You mean, he thinks he's two people? Okay, that's it. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I think they're going to need some rework on Alfred there. God, I do not want to deal with these fucking guys. Go and fuck yourself. Beyond caution, god damn it. I get really annoyed. It's an OCD thing. I always, my player, when they hold their arm, it drives me fucking batshit crazy. for a bit. Self-destruct system what? has been Alfred's insane. Activated. He's trying to blow All this entire place up. Evacuate immediately. Clear. Those are the main survivors. We'd better get out of here too. Right. Let's go. The self-destruct system. 
They do. Unless we raise the bridge. Leave that to me. You stay here and make the preparations for takeoff. System has been activated. All personnel evacuate immediately. <laughs> Tell you what, the crossbow is way better in this game than it is the original Resident Evil 2. Better than the fucking bolt throw in Resident Evil 4, I'll tell you that. Now that's a piece of shit gun, the bolt thrower. Activated. All personnel evacuated immediately. 
everybody's favorite tyrant of the series. The tyrant that has made players have to completely restart the game.
I was not a fan of this tyrant when I was a kid. I fucking hated this guy. Thankfully, I've never had to like restart. I've never had to restart this game ever. I've always been a conservation person when it comes to Resident Evil. Pretty good at conserve conserving. <laughs> But we're not even done with the real part yet. to get worried. No time to explain. Let's go. Right. We're out of here. Time to say goodbye to this death trap. trouble for you no it's okay it was hard for both of us well I really hope you find your brother I I know what it's like to be alone oh Steve <clears throat> so where should we go now I could take you anywhere you want to go Claire <laughs> I hear Hawaii is nice this time of year. You got it! <laughs> <laughs>
This game is not over yet. Now you will see what real terror is all about. Started the game, have rage quit, have hated this game. But luckily for me, excuse me, just gonna blow my nose really quick. everything stuff on like stupid boxes that are stupid I don't know. Nothing. Just a giant cockroach that had to be stepped on. There was... It took under two minutes. What's happening? I don't know. The plane just changed direction on its own. It's flying in autopilot mode. I can't switch over to manual control. My apologies. But I cannot let you escape now. <laughs> Alfred, you cross-dressing freak!
82.17 degrees. That's the Antarctic. We're over the Antarctic. What? Hey, those are the seaplanes that left the island right before us. Then that must mean this place belongs to Umbrella. But nope, that tyrant was finished in two minutes. Maybe even under, but that's how you do it. There's really nothing to it. trashed. Well, let's split up and find another way off this oversized freezer. Right. Okay, let's do it. Drop off. I fucking hate these things though. That they like fly and stick to like your back and shit. Ugh. I'm going to store. I believe. 
believe I can't do anything with this because there's no power. So we gotta go turn the power on. I think the power is this way. say anything. these spiders. They are just ruthless. Get that fucking bark out! Ah! Like little small missiles. Actually, you know what? No, we're gonna go back and use some of that. I 
is the mining room that is right here. there's anything of use up here but it doesn't hurt to always check like an octagon poison gas Dog right here. Because if I'm not mistaken, this room's like a fucking. This room's like a treasure room almost. It has so many items in it. There's a lot of herbs. Yes, I will take a bullet. back to the office. But first, we have to go get some more treasures. Shock. First, I'm going to need to probably drop some items. Um, no, I really don't use this a whole lot. 
And that would be in Nosferatu. It's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool design. Their machine room key. So we are going to save. to complete the game so I'm not worried about getting any more of those or using any more of those. You son of a bitch. That's right. Clear rules. I'm not worried about ink ribbons. God, who'd want to live in the fucking Antarctic? <laughs> not me. Can pay me enough. Pay me a million dollars a year and I no, wouldn't do it. I fucking hate the cold. From the Midwest, I can't deal with that shit. Can't deal with four seasons, I hate that shit.
like there's an Australian observation base about seven miles away from here. That should be our target. Then if we can break through the wall with that digging vehicle, we might have a chance. Okay, let's do it! It's all my fault. Don't say that. Listen to me. We'll escape from here. Together. Come on. We've got to shut off the gas. If we split up, we'll have a better chance of stopping it. <sighs> okay. Steve! Don't forget. We'll get out of here. Together. No, that's bullshit. It is your fault, Steve. It is 150% your fault. Claire knew the reason why. Claire only knew. Checking her out, staring at her ass in her high waist 90 jeans. She would probably be a little upset. Yeah, we're gonna need that blue herb. Make it into an octagon. Okay. 
knock that thing out. Forgetting that I'm gonna have to leave Chris a bunch of shit, so I gotta go back to the item box. Herb. 
Save just in case. that and we're going to use that so we'll have enough We're safe now. Make a game, Claire. I shall enjoy watching you shriek in agony. Not this time! You again! I'm gonna bust through that wall. Go for it. through there. Come on, let's go. Okay. 
Claire, come on! Finally, we can get out of this insane place! Ugh. Oops. Oh my god. So that's how you zoom in? I'm just wasting ammo, god damn it. Okay, let's go! Come on, let's go! What, are you scared? Worry about it. Let's go. I swear I'll protect you next time, Claire. We did it. We're finally out. <laughs> Look! There's a snowmobile over there! Perfect! We'll be able to ride right over 
charge the Australian base with this. Yeah, let's go! I won't forget about this, Claire. Following up on a lead given to me by Leon has brought me here. Probably gonna end the stream here. I think that this is a good place to end, so we're gonna pick up a few more things. Save. And then, uh, two, four, six, eight. I didn't expect to find another living person left on this island. Who are you? I came here looking for a certain girl. A girl? Have you seen anyone named Claire Redfield? Did you just say... Claire? You know who she is, don't you? Don't worry about her. I helped her escape. Several planes took off from this island not long ago. While I can't say for certain, she was probably on one of them. I see. I guess my sister owes you. Thanks for helping. Everyone's gone. I may be the only other person left. Go on. Follow your sister and get off this island.
All right. So we're going to save right here. Just in case if we fucked up anything. But I don't think we did. I think we're all right right now. Yeah, we're pretty good. I don't, I don't see the fire extinguisher in there, so hopefully, because I forgot that, we can still get, find a way to get the Magnum, but, yeah. Well, alright guys, that was it for today. I'll see you guys on the next uh, episode.